Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Priscilla. I hope you guys are having a really great day. So in this video, I'm going to go over how to share files between your host machine or your computer and the guest, um, which is the virtual machine. So I wanted to show you guys how to do this in VirtualBox, just in case you hadn't done it before, because uh, it's going to help you out for the rest of the lab setup that we're doing for our SCCM installation. Uh, all right, so I hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's get to it. Thanks. What we're going to do is uh, go to, let me close out of this one, go to Devices, Insert Guest Edition CD Image, and you'll see that one load. So you'll select that one. You'll run it. Because um, this looks like if you were to ins insert a CD in there. Um, so you're going to put next, next, and install. So that's going to install. Um, and then we're going to have to restart. So install. Yeah, just install it. Um, and then after that is done, we're going to finish and we're going to re it's going to restart our machine. So we have to install this first before we can actually share files from our hosts or our, our actual computer to our virtual machine or our guest, is what they call it. So from, from our host to our guest. <laughs> so um, we're gonna wait for that to load. Okay, cool, so now we're gonna log in. And then I'm gonna show you guys how to do like a network share from scratch. Um, so we're gonna go to devices, shared folders, Shared folder settings, and then you're going to add a folder that you want to share with your uh, VM. And so I'm going to select one that I'm going to share because I need the files for this one. Uh, so you select that one, you put OK, then you put Auto Mount and Make Permanent, and you put OK. You put OK, and then um, so there you go. You got the V. VirtualBox server, and you've got the files that you wanted to share. So you could do this, do this with any file on your host machine, and it's like a network share. Um, there's, so there's other ways you can share files between your host and your guest. Um, so I'll go ahead and show you those ones as well. So if you go to devices, um, let's go to device, not there. Devices, so you could do like a clipboard where you do copy and paste. Because do um, we'll do host to guests so it's just to show you guys how it works. I know it's kind of like um, you know, pretty pretty obvious, but I still wanted to kind of just show you guys visually what it looks like. I guess if you've never seen it before. So I'm just gonna open a Notepad on my um, VM, and then I'm gonna also open a Notepad on my actual host machine, so my actual computer, um, and just show you guys like the whole copy and paste features, and then I'll show you the drag and drop later. But okay, so we have our notepad on our VM and our notepad on our host. And so I'm just gonna type in uh, hello world. Um, if you've ever done coding, this isn't the first one they will use. <laughs> hello world. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and copy and paste it. So I'll do the right click just to show you guys. I usually do a shortcut. So, so there you go, so you could paste it on there because um, you enabled the host to guess. Um, but you didn't enable the guest to host, so you can't really copy what you have currently onto our host machine. Um, so like if I do howdy, and I wanted to copy it and place it on here, it won't, uh, let do it. it won't let me because I haven't enabled that feature. So you go to devices, share clipboard, and do guest to host, then you'll be able to do that. And there you go. Um, but then there's an awesome feature where it's bi-directional and you could just do it both ways. Um, so make your life a little easier. So if you just do uh, devices and then you do shared clipboard and bi-directional, so that way you can copy and paste from your VM to your host and from your host to your VM. So there you go. And like you could copy all of that one. So there you go. So if you wanted to just have that enabled, you could leave that enabled and just copy and paste from your host to your guests whenever you want to. I'm just going to disable it for now. And I'm going to show you the drag and drop feature. So they have the same options. I'm just going to show you the bi-directional one. Um, so it's for it to go both ways. 
But they do have the, the host to guest and the guest to host if you only want to do it one way. But I'm going to go ahead and save this file on my host machines. Um, so hold on, let me go ahead and just save it. I'll save it on my host machine's desktop. Um, so just hello, let me find the desktop on here and I'll save it, close out of there. And then you'll see it on my desktop right now. So there it is. And then I'm just gonna close out of this one on my VM. And then, okay, so if I wanna just drag and drop it from my host to the VM, there you go. So you could just drag and drop that file from your host machine to your virtual machine, um, which is pretty cool. It's actually really cool. Um, okay, so then I'm gonna show you how to do it from your VM to your host machine. So I'm just gonna, uh, I'm just gonna close out of this notepad in a little bit. And then I'm gonna, I'll, I'll change the name on it. So I'll close out of it, and then I'm just gonna do hello to. And then um, I'll just drag and drop it from the VM to the host. So there you go, you could do that that way too. Um, so it's a cool feature. I'm gonna go ahead and disable it. But yeah, if you guys wanna, um, oh, so I disabled it now, so now you can do it. So it's only it works when that's um, enabled, um, whichever one you choose. So that, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I just wanted to show you guys how to do the, um, or how to enable the feature to be able to share files from your host uh, machine or your actual computer to your guest or your VM, um, or also known as VM. Um, so that way when you're working with this, if you have a file on your computer that you want to uh, load onto your virtual machine, you can enable whichever feature you want, either the shared network drive or the uh, copy and paste or the drag and drop. Um, they're all really cool features. I hope this um, this helps you guys out. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to let me know. If you want to go ahead and like the video, you can do that as well. Uh, subscribe to my channel to watch um, to get notified about the other videos I have uh, coming up. Um, yeah, that, that would be cool. <laughs> I appreciate you guys so much for watching. Um, thank you and uh, have a good one. Bye.